Dr. Isaac Kalua, who is the founder chair of the Kenya Water Towers Agency as well as Green Africa Foundation. Asante Sana Daktari. It was during your time yes. um, that, you know, phase one took place. Uh, and a lot of the reports that have been generated uh, by uh, your organization, which you left in March, but um, being remembered for having been there for two terms. Yeah. Let's get into this. What is, what is the solution? I mean, we just we want to stay away from the politics and everything, but how do we make sure that this is something that, you know, remains First of all, allow me, Yvonne, to thank you for the very clear uh, enumeration of issues that are greatly important for the Mao and uh, choosing to steer away from the politics in our discussion tonight. And maybe I will suggest that we try and analyze the issues mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And I will analyze them in about seven areas in a very speedy fast. First of all is the issue of illegal settlements. And uh, when, when people hear about this, they need to understand that there are uh, about, th there, is, there is a process that was done that enumerated about 7,989 people or families that are staying in the Mao. There was a process that was undertaken in the year 2010, to be precise, on 9th and 10th of May, and uh, it came out very clear that four, uh, about 461 Kenyans did actually have title deeds. Legally? Well, that's a story. Okay. Then this is what was found to be there, and, 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 and I mean, having a title deed is a title deed, as co according okay. to what it was, because that was a finding. Then there were other people, 5,013, that had some form of uh, a document through either letter of allotment uh -huh. or some sort of sale agreement. Then there were 2,513 people that didn't have any documentation at all. Okay. That was then. All right. And then there was that. Uh, the second issue that I would like to talk about is there, how there, there was a process that was undertaken to understand whether there was going to be funds to be able to pay off these people or to give some gratis because okay. legally you cannot uh, purport to, to be paying off uh, this kind of a situation because the, it, it's, 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 it's a null situation right. even at the beginning. Ab and, okay. uh, yes, ab initio. And therefore the, the, that was agreed upon 461 people there was going to cost uh, about 265 million Kenya shillings mm -hmm. and this was agreed to be at about 60,000 per acre okay. and then the difference of the people 7,900 and something there was going to be uh, uh, an ex gratia amount of 600,000 uh, mm -hmm. per family to leave the, the process. Okay. Now, the challenge came also at that point because these people started selling lands to, uh, land to third parties, uh -huh. second parties, and on, and therefore it got co uh, complicated. Okay. And that was in 2010. Okay. The third issue, Yvonne, that you need to understand is that survey has been ongoing. It's not completed. The survey of this, and we are speaking about the, the, the 21st, uh, the, the, the last. Uh, uh, block yes, of Mao, right. uh, whereby part of it is not very clear. There were issues about uh, survey, and at the end of the survey, then eventually there would be the the uh, the the gazettement of this area to be a forest mm -hmm. and and then be taken up for that process then the fourth issue is the political and security issues that keep coming up because politicians some of them have been have been beneficiaries and therefore they weep uh, some 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 emotions to the process and not only politicians when i talk about politicians i have believed Environmental issues are political Absolutely. issues, and therefore you can never try, in fact, true. pretending to say that this is politics and, and not you're cheating okay. yourself. Uh -huh. And therefore this is a, uh, this is a situation. And th th therefore it appears like conservation is a political issue. The, the fifth issue is conflicting messages by leaders from the county government, from the national government. People are leaving, people are not leaving. And therefore this becomes an issue that needs to be looked at. The sixth issue, uh, Yvonne, is the inadequate capacity that is available and funding because Kenya Water Towers Agency with the Joint Enforcement Unit which has got KWS administration, mm -hmm. uh, AP and, uh, and also the county government only receives about 55 million Kenya shillings per year and, and, and uh, KFS another 12 million which yeah. is a million uh, shillings for, for the forest that uh, is, is nearby okay. there okay. and therefore that is an issue because of this there were of course issues sometimes back when I was the chair and uh -huh. we managed 
research to sort out so that the funds are used in, a, in an efficient way. And finally, uh -huh. the other issue is now the, what you have raised. Mm -hmm. Land degradation, mm -hmm. leading to the floods that we have, leading to the insufficient food, mm -hmm. leading to the drying the of the rivers, the and of the all rivers. those messes. Okay. These, I would say, are the seven issues that are of okay. main concern. So, Dr. How do we sort this out? Uh, we did phase one. Um, <laughs> there is mixed reaction as to whether it was successful. You would tell us that. But then here we are in phase two. How do we make sure that this is not an issue that recurs year after year? Uh, or should I say election cycle after election yes. cycle? I, I have a solution. Okay. And, and, and I am saying this with, as a prayer because we can never, you remember I, I, I was the whistleblower on Mao even from inception. Mm -hmm. And here we are many years thereafter. And I believe that we have made it very clear and then it was made clear. There are only three options. And I want us to help the president. By the way, the president is doing a good job. In They've been trying matter. to call him out on this issue. Yeah, but, but you Why see, you he, has a, he has a script uh -huh. that is very clear, and I'm going to say it for the good of this nation okay. and, and be able to... to, to there, there are three options into this uh, process. Number one is what is called gratis, uh, what can be given out to these people. What, in other words, a word would be used like compensation. Mm -hmm. But this is not the word because mm -hmm. there are issues. First and foremost, you cannot, you have to be humane. Okay. You have to give people respect. There is the human rights that must be maintained. Okay. And therefore, option one is about that gratis uh, amount payment. You may call it mm -hmm. uh, uh, compensation. compensation if okay. you may. What are the merits of this? Number one, it's a, it's a human rights concern and therefore this will be right. Number two, the relocation, leave, uh, the people would leave the place. Number right. three, the downstream people, which is a very big issue, uh -huh. would receive water. And therefore this is something that they would deal with. And then the recovery uh -huh. of 42,000 acres. That is about 169 square kilometers. Okay. By the way, when you hear these people where they've settled, yeah. it's 17,000 acres, right. uh, hectares. Mm -hmm. And that's about 42,000 uh, uh, acres. acres. Yeah. And that's about 169 kilometers okay. uh, square. Uh -huh. What is the what is the the, the demerits of this? Uh -huh. One direct one cash transfer to human beings as tested in Emboboot, they will get ideas that they did not have okay. and therefore go and uh, uh, may be able to come back. The second issue, Finally? and the, the second one, the I, second I need, one. allow me to take this please because <laughs> it's for the good of the nation. Oh. The second one, the second option is relocation where the government buys land mm -hmm. and be able to take people out there to relocate. The advantages of this is very well that you, the community can get land that is very specific. They can be able, you can be able to control the way they live and the, 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 to avoid land re relocation. Uh -huh. the, the third one is the opportunity for land use plan. The demerits of this are very easy. It's not easy to move people that yeah. have stayed in one people. For some time. The, 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 the law of adoption, you know, you will understand what that takes us to. Right. And then, of course, the, to disenfranchise the people out mm -hmm. of uh, their places. The worst of it, which the politicians will always look at, is the destabilizing of the vote pattern <laughs> of, yeah. uh, of all this. Absolutely. The final one uh -huh. is an option three. Option three is maintaining the status quo. Maintaining the status quo very leaving clearly in avoids the in the, avo leaving them in, all these are options, but I want okay. to give you the merits and the demerits. Okay. Then we can make a decision as Kenyans and keep the politics away right. and help the presidency and ev everyone else who's doing all this. And one is uh, you, you avoid a humanitarian crisis okay. well enough. You, you, uh, it's an opportunity to create an interface between human and environmental concerns. Mm -hmm. But now let's deal with the demerits. Okay. And I'll take you one is the, the we will have lost the 42,000 hectares yeah. uh, acres mm -hmm. of land. That's mm -hmm. 17,000 acres, mm -hmm. which is a shame and the, because that's, that's, that's a forest land. Right. The second one is that the, the, the Maasai Mau is important catchment. Just the issues that you raise that are very right. important without having to enumerate all of them. The energy sector, which we did valuation uh, at my time, which uh -huh. was coming to about 23 billion Kenya shillings. Many other issues. Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, talking about uh, hiving this process, you know, also the process is very expensive yeah. in terms of also taking it to the parliament for approval and all these other issues. And it's a long process. Okay. But imagine the mess that it leaves in the environment. Absolutely. And what... Uh, what uh, so those, those are our options. Those are our options. Okay. But remember... Your final word. Non-controversial areas like Mao l l l that are the 22 blocks, mm -hmm. the title deeds are ready. Okay. It would be the president's obligation. It is, is going to be a great legacy if this is given an opportunity to be given the title deeds to be issued. And they be locked under key at the treasury so uh -huh. that we have all this. And finally, I want to give you uh, uh, a document. Uh, Daktari? <laughs> this, is the, this is all that I would Please. say as, okay. as a finality. All right. The president is lead, reading from this script. The deputy president is reading from this script. What script is it that? It is leading and it is a time right now. Raila lost presidency at his time because of Mao. Nobody else should go through this. And those who are planning games to play that should not be able to do this. Okay. Moi has land in that place that is not being uh, is not being abused. All this, we should just bring this to an end. The options are three. Yeah. It is for us to help the presidency. It is us to make the community understand. And it's only about education. Education breeds confidence. Absolutely. Confidence breeds hope and hope breeds peace and what document and this is, is what this we he's need, supposed uh, to be to, reading from that's a document yes. that is a decision uh -huh. that was made okay. at my time mm -hmm. it has never been uh, given out anywhere i do this for god's glory okay. and for peace in our nation because you need to bring it out so that we help these people because they are well, fighting indeed. over politics which is not going to lead us absolutely anywhere. dr isaac alua who is the founder chair of uh, green africa foundation and the kenya water towers agency thank you this is a document we'll be sharing with our viewers, especially during News Gang, we'll, uh, I'm sure, take a look at it and see what options are there for painting so clearly those issues that are there. Would we want the status quo to remain? Well, that is uh, up to us to decide. You now know all the options away from all of the political rhetoric. This is tonight. We're taking a break. We're right back with more news.